everybody. Welcome. <laughs> right? Do the jazz hands. To again. name. Do the jazz hands. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta tell you. <laughs> Name and Lights, it's our series where each of us gets a chance to shine in a different spotlight. So far, we have seen Russ master stand-up comedy. Mm -hmm. We have seen Dave get beat up and shot in CSI Miami as a stuntman. And now it's Harry's turn. Let's see go. what he did. Well, every Saturday night, about four million people, including me, tune in to hear a very special radio program called A Prairie Home Companion. It is a legendary comedy and musical variety show, and it's a big part of what makes it so incredible, is the, the big part that makes it so incredible, of course, is its host, Garrison Keillor. And as I found out, he likes to challenge his guests. Have you read your scripts? I haven't. Oh. <laughs> Are they here? You bet. Have they been written? Looks like I'm gonna be playing um, Harry Smith of Illinois, star of many radio serials, including Brent Baxter, crime-fighting crop duster. <laughs> and I just got the first couple of pages of script for the show for Saturday night, and uh, it's funny and hard. Just as long as you love me. Kipsy, Pittsburgh, Patterson, Peoria, and Piscawatimagan. 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 Say it again. Piscawatimagan. That's easy. What'd you say? You got any advice for me? I do, I do. Enjoy what you're doing. Enjoy what you're doing. Uh, because uh, it's not going to get any easier. And uh, if you're lucky, it might, it might last you for a while. Um, I met for this show. <laughs> and whatever you do, wherever you go in broadcasting, young man, right. don't take calls from listeners. The thing that's amazing about being on stage with Garrison this all comes out of his brain. Just a little beat in there. You're, you're working with a genius. The advantage of doing a live show, you never have to face yourself in an editing room. You never ever have to listen to yourself. It's Friday afternoon. We've just uh, done my part of rehearsal. And what they say is everything uh, on these pages is likely to change between now and tomorrow night. So we're in beautiful downtown St. Paul. Well, I've been going over my lines. This will be as much fun as I'll probably ever have, ever. So let's go. Thank you. Oh, geez, I gotta get this guy out of my house. So we're just 10 minutes away from air. Coming to you live from the Fitzgerald Theater here on Exchange Street in downtown St. Paul. It's a Prairie Home Companion. I don't go on until the second half hour, and that's when we have our big, you know, cowboy sketch. That's a big deal. Goodbye, New York City. My apartment is for sale. I'm riding across the prairie on the Colorado Trail. You're Too much fun. Feel that song. Too much fun. It was perfect. Thanks for letting me sing. It was perfect. I don't even want to know how hard you worked on that. <laughs> the song worked out at the end of Cowboys, the song that he gave me. And so he, during the last five minutes, wrote a new verse. Here's your new version. All right, sir. Well, Mr. Harry Smith, what an honor to have you with us on our show tonight, Mr. Harry Smith. His was a voice that the American people came to trust implicitly. And inevitably, that led him into commercial broadcasting, where he exploited that trust for mere monetary gain. Back with more of our program in a moment after this word from H.P. Pitkin, open seven days a week in Poughkeepsie, Pittsburgh, Patterson, Peoria, and Piscicata, Wada, Quadimaga. Yes, indeed. Piscicata. I think they want to hear you sing another. <laughs> One, 
Once you have done radio, your love ends up total. Got to quit the TV show. Man's got to yodel. <laughs> yodel Cute you are. Oh, it's so you much so fun. Cute. Did you know you could sing? I sang in the a cappella choir at Central College in uh, Pella, uh, Iowa. You know Thank you but very did much. you yodel? Not until Saturday night. <laughs> Here, here's what we, we really need to let you at home know, and that is what you just saw mm -hmm. is to the core, tell me if you guys disagree, absolute Harry. A hundred percent. I agree, yes. That is Big absolute, time. that is Big pure time. glee. Yes. <laughs> you yes. were so happy. You were invested in that. That yeah. happens, you know, once a decade or so. No. <laughs> we, were, we were supposed to go outside our comfort zone for this right. series, but I think you found your perfect comfort zone. Man. I listen to that show, I mean, really, almost every Saturday night. And to be on that stage with this spectacular company of players, there's Sue Scott. These people are so good at what they do. And they were so welcoming of me to, you know, join in to this crazy, spectacular thing they do every Saturday night. Little really Tony Bennett fun. meets Paul Simon there. And you think? You think? Yeah. You yes. think? No, oh, you know God. what it is? Harry was in the Midwest, which is where he's just most at home, despite all of your erudite qualities and your <laughs> city slicker, you know, habits now. He's not right. a city slicker you, at You heart. love that. You yeah. love uh, being there. And, and, the, and, the, and the pureness of radio. And you can see my complete interview with Garrison Keeler on our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.